Okay, in this video what I want to do is I want to insert some data back into a table and I've just done a video that shows you how to insert an entire row, but what if you only want to insert partial information? We could just use the null command to leave those fields empty, but if I want to update some specific stuff uh, or maybe just only have three or four uh, fields, field values that I want to update, well then um, I possibly can do it a different way. And I want to show you here in this video how you can do this. And so let's just take a quick look at my table. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to enter in book 11. So I'm going to use the book ID field. Okay. And let's say I've got the ISBN 10, but I don't have the ISBN 13. So I'm going to go ahead and 0, 055310834. All right. And that's the one, that's an ISBN I'm going to use. And the title is going to be a Clash of Kings. And that one's going to be a George Martin one. And this is, again, going to be another fiction. So maybe I'll type in fiction. Let's say I don't have a price. I don't know the binding. I don't know the publish, uh, publication date. I do know the author is going to be the George Martin. And if you look at George Martin over here, he's going to be author number two. So I'm going to go ahead and put two in there for that one. And the publisher, let's just say I don't know the publisher. So I've only got one, two, three, four, five of the fields that I want to enter in here. And so if you want to do something specific like this, I'll show you how to do this. And so let's go to our SQL command. And again, we're going to go ahead and use the insert into uh, command. So let's go ahead and type that in. All right, so we've got insert into. And now the table that I want to insert this into is going to be my books table. So I'll type in books. And here's what we're going to do a little bit different with this type of uh, partial command or partial entry into our database is I need to type in the actual field names that I'm going to actually use. And if I go back to my table, we're going to do book ID. We're going to do ISBN 10, title, category, and author ID. So I'm going to go ahead and what I'll do is I'll put it in parentheses here and we're going to go ahead and type in book ID. Uh, the ISBN 10, and you'll notice that I'm separating them with commas, title, category, and the author ID. And so I'm going to enter them in this way. And so basically, um, so we're going to use values again, like we did before. And now when I enter in my values, I'm going to enter in the values. It looks like I have an ID. Let's see, change the ID. There we go. I'm going to enter in the values that correlate or relate to the fields that I've listed up here. So the first one I'm going to enter in is the book ID one. So that was uh, going to be 11. And then I'll go ahead and use the comma to separate it. So the next one I'm going to enter in now is the ISBN 10. So I'll enter that in. Let's see, that one was 5531080. And then the title, I'm going to go ahead and enter that one in, A Clash of Kings. And I'll go ahead and end that, there we go, put the comma there, and use this for single quote again for fiction. And two was the author ID, and that was a numbered uh, data type, an integer data type, so I don't need the single quotes around that one. And we'll go ahead and end this with a semicolon. So I've basically just done a partial list now, and so we're going to go ahead and enter in just the book ID, ISBN 10, the title, the category, and the author ID. And I'll just double check to make sure I've got all my single quotes in the right spot. And it looks like I do, and I've got everything separated by commas. So I'll go ahead and hit run, and it says one row is inserted. So this is only a partial entry into the entire record. And I've picked or they've chosen the fields that I actually want to enter it into and then listed the data down below. So this is just using the insert command but only for partial data.